Peace fam, peace fam. Cosmic Cortland here, back with another vid. First off, I want to say, like, big gratitude out to y'all for, like, taking the time out to even watch this video. You feel me? Like, definitely going to make sure I drop a lot of bombs in here. A lot of things that, like, you could take notes on, that you could apply to, like, your own life. You know what I'm saying? Like, and everything I'm going to talk about is stuff that, like, I just learned, like, just on my own, like, through this journey of life through like on my spiritual path like so i hopefully like the tools that i learned like just based off of me can like help you you know what i mean and um yeah so it's basically like you know yourself you feel me like you know yourself so why let somebody define you you know and i'm not trying to make that sound like why let somebody like say this about me like no it's not one of those type things like i'm not trying to give off that vibe at all like the vibe i'm trying to give off is like don't accept that for yourself <laughs> you know don't accept that for yourself take what they gotta say into consideration or with a grain of salt depending on what it is and how it applies to you and like how you feel about yourself and how you truly are. Because we know how we truly are. And then move on from there. Get the lesson. Get the knowledge. You know what I mean? Like, don't fixate on it. Don't create a projection you don't want. You know what I'm saying? Because as soon as you get, like, angry about it, boom. Like, now you got to get un angry about it. Now you got to, like unwind yourself down and then boom reset now you're back to square one like okay yeah i shouldn't have did that learn from that now you just learn from like a lesson that you didn't really like have to learn that you already knew but then you have to relearn that lesson like spirit was like you know what nah apparently he or she didn't get it so boom like we're gonna have to go through this again you know what i mean we're gonna have to go through that loop again so Based off that, right, let's just get into the reasons. It's like, you know yourself already, you know? Like, you are, you know, you know who you are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know exactly who you are. You know what traumas you've been through. You know what you made it out of. You know all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what you do. <laughs> you know your toxic traits. Like, so when someone reveals that, why challenge that? Don't ch don't challenge that. Just be like, you know what? I appreciate that insight. Like if that's all you gotta say, you know what I mean? Like if you don't want to elaborate more because like you feel like you're angry, but saying like that little sentence is better than just lashing out in rage. And this is something that like I struggle with because it was like I couldn't look myself in the mirror and being on some like you know what? No, nah, this person was right. Like, I remember, like, in middle school, people would try to check me. Like, my first instinct was just, like, you know, like, yeah, like, we could just fight. Like, we could just get it on. Like, it is what it is. <laughs> like, nah, like, we can't do that. Like, that's not good, you know? And then that created, like, later situations where it was just awesome. Like, come on, no, I didn't even have to, like, do all that. Like, like trying to challenge everybody getting in the fights and then being in anger management now school's thinking you a bad kid when you really just a smart kid and then you just lashing out because of other reasons and then it's like but we don't know this stuff like growing up you know what i mean like but still like you see what i'm trying to say here like you know yourself you know what triggers you you know what how to like, how you respond whenever you are triggered and what degree and what uh, degree you respond to, you know? Like, so what's the point? That brings me to that next point. Like, what's the point, you know? Like, why? Why? Like, it just doesn't make sense because People know you, you know what I'm saying? Like, people know you. So it's like, okay, you can find out what you want to say about somebody or, what, like, 
Yeah, if you find out what somebody like, like, uh, if you find out what you want to say about somebody, or vice versa, find out what somebody wants to say about you, and then next minute you know, now you're all mad. But what you should have did was take that for information. That's what you should have did. You should have took it for information instead of that. You know, because it's like, yeah, everyone has like feelings and emotions. But we just have to treat feelings and emotions exactly what they are. Your information, you know what I'm saying? You choose to be mad. You choose to be happy. You choose to be sad. You choose to be, like, just lit. You know what I mean? Like, you you choose that. And it's like, yeah, like, some stuff is going to get us mad. Some stuff is going to get us tight. That's just, the, like, that's just life, you know? But it's like, how we deal with that is what our blessing is honestly going to be based off. And I'm not saying that, like, you should only do, like, operate like this to get blessed. But I'm saying, like, if you operate like this, you are going to get blessed. And this is something that, like, I'm starting to learn, you know? Like, just really figuring this stuff out. Because it's like, don't, like, you're just getting tired just walking around with all that weight. You got all that weight on you, you know what I mean? Like, you know your traumas. You know your struggles. You know your toxic traits. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know all that shit. You know how manipulative you could be. You know, like, if you cheated before, you know if you stole something, you know if you was a thief. Like, you know what I mean? You know if you used to be out in the streets. You know all this stuff. You know what I mean? But that doesn't mean that's, that shit defies you. You know what I'm saying? These are just learning experiences that you've been through. You know what I mean? This is just something that you had to learn. Something that, like, that you had to gain. Something that was going to help you moving forward in life. Not something that you should just keep on, like, hugging around in your backpack. Like, no, drop the backpack. Take that off. Like, no, there's no point to carry it around no more. You are, you've been through the experience. Only thing that you're missing is, like, the knowledge being applied from it. So take it as information. You know what I mean? Take it as direction. You know what I'm saying? Take it like that. Imagine that's your compass. To move around. To maneuver. All right. Didn't know that. Boom. Okay. I got I got to go this way. All right. Got it. You know what I mean? Like, you won't hit that mountain. See what I did there? Boom. And it's like, you know what you struggle with. You know what you struggle with. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I used to get so mad in school because I used to act like, be in speech classes. Like, as you can tell, you can point out my speech impediment. And it's like, boom. Like, and someone will point that out. I, I used to get me so mad. Like, just so mad. And it's like, I should never let that get me mad at all. Like, I know I have speech problems. So, of course, like, kids is just going to pick that out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when I was young, like, I really used to think situations out. You know? Like, I really used to think situations out. Like, I definitely had, like, a real, like, fast, like, accelerated mind, but, like, I couldn't really just voice it, like, you know? Like, it was, like, hard for me to voice it. Like, boom. So I was just, you talk just really fast, or I just, just wouldn't make sense at all. So it's like, boom. But, yeah, it's like I struggled with, like, stuttering, all that, like, throat chakra issues. You know what I mean? And people would, like, point that out. I said, not being on some, oh, you got throat shot working issues. Like, no, they wasn't saying that back then. I was like, you know what I mean? Stuttering. Like, that used to make me so mad. Like, bro, like, so mad. I, like, I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it. And it, it was like, now, looking back, journaling on it, journaling on it, right? Like, I had to go through that. To make me stronger and make me like actually want to step into my voice more, you know? And what I learned too was just like examining different patterns, right? Different loops. Like it was a lot of throat chakra like issues, like blockages, like being picked on or like not speaking up when like when I'm supposed to, or like um there's even lying, you know what I mean? Lying blocks your throat chakra, like. That's why it's like for me now it's like be like like real real truthful one thousand percent transparent you know what I mean that's why it's like every time like I give a lecture or whatever you want to call it these stones right whatever you want to call it I always gotta tell like my my personal journey with it 
because it's like that's important <laughs> like that's important like i need y'all to understand that like nah like i'm i practice what i preach for one and that i've been through it and you're not alone it's like we all struggle with this. It's like our traumas don't defy us and our struggles don't defy us and our toxic traits don't defy us. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, nah, like we could just check ourselves. This brings us to the second reason. We could just check ourselves. So it's like, get off your high horse. You know what I mean? Like, get off your high horse. Look yourself in the mirror. Get real with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with like, you know what? No, nah, I shouldn't be doing this. This ain't right. This ain't right at all. Like, facts. You have to, like, have those conversations with yourself. You know what I mean? Or journal about it. You know what I mean? You, got, you have to. And you got to be humble. You have to be humble. Like, that's very, very important. Because it's like there's a reason why you're going through this experience in the first place. You know what I mean? And it's like, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, the tunnel be some fucked up shit. Like, for real. Like, the tunnel be wild. It be going down in the tunnel. But it's like, nah, you have, like, you have to realize, like, it's going to make it through. Because it's like, you've been through so many other tunnels. And then once when tunnels start looking similar, you be like, okay, it starts going faster. It starts going faster. You know what I mean? This is why you got to check yourself. Because it's like, for one, you don't want to, like, get in that loop again, you know? Because, like, being in a loop, being in a cycle, like, it's just bad. It's just so bad. And it's like, this is something that, like, I'm working on every single day, just being in, like, different karmic loops. And just working on trying to heal, like, the source, like, where it came from. You know what I mean? Trying to learn the lesson and apply the lesson from that, you know? And then once when you do that successfully spirit rewards that and that's what we have to remember so it's like deflect the negative shit you know like just push it off push it off you know what i'm saying like it doesn't no don't don't even let it touch your aura space don't even let it touch your aura space like you know what i mean as soon as you even get that like that feeling to where it's like you're about to say something ill, just push it away. Literally, just push it away. Like, I'm telling you, because it's like, there's no reason to absorb it. There's no reason to absorb it. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're trying to catch it, dunk it, you know what I'm saying? On some transmute it, you know what I mean? Be a real alchemist with it, like flip it, you know what I mean? Like use that negative energy and like to fuel you, to, like to achieve something greater, you know? But like, don't but don't want to be like spiteful in that way. You know, you don't want to be spiteful. But yeah, you could definitely transmute it. But like, yeah, deflect it, catch it, transmute it, do all of it. You know what I mean? Protect yourself. Always protect yourself because it's like there's a lot of different things that be affecting us that we don't even be aware of. You know what I mean? This is why we always gotta protect ourselves. Like protection is very, very, like important. You know, and like you just don't want to get caught like in a bad situation. So it's like if you know you're not supposed to go there, don't go there. If you know, like, boom, you get this bad feeling in your gut, like your intuition is like, oh, like, no, like, don't do don't do it. Don't do it because it's going to end bad for you. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's going to end bad for you. And it's like, 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 no, nah, that gut feeling is something different like you have to listen to it you have to listen to it because it's right 100 percent of the time i'm not going to do no 99.9 percent .9%. this ain't no hand sanitizer no this is the real deal 100 percent. your intuition is right 100 percent of the time 100 <laughs> percent of the time so it's like you have to listen to it because it's like it's there to help you like spirits like yo Danger, danger, warning triangles. There's a deer in the road. Like, there's no time to swerve. Come on. Like, yo, like, listen. You have to listen, okay? Listen to your intuition, right? And fight for you. Like, this is you going through it. 
You know what I mean? This is you going through it. Don't let somebody like define you, like get to you. You're going through it. You know what I mean? You already know. You already know. So it's like you're living through it every single day. You're going through these battles every single day. You're completing battles. You know what I mean? You still got battles you're still working on. You got new battles you're gaining. You know what I mean? Like you got to reward yourself. You know? Like, boom. Like take what you can learn. Dust it off your shoulders. Straight up. Straight up. Like you don't need to carry that weight no more. Release it. Let it go. Learn the lesson. Understand you're going to go through shit. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to go through shit. Like, it's duality. That, that's just what it is. Like, and it's boom. We can't accept it as, like, a good point or, like, something bad. Like, it's just, like, it is what it is, you know? Like, if it's something, like, no. Actually, everything we should always be grateful for. Now, regardless if you look at it as a good or bad, that's why you should have never looked at it as good or bad. You know, because it's like if you really even if you, like you get to that state because it's natural, it's natural. You know what I mean? It's natural to be on some like, damn, you know what I mean? Like it's natural. But it's like. If it's a good point, just be like, wow, like I'm so grateful for my um for my blessings. I'm so grateful for these downloads. I'm just I'm just so grateful, you know, like be grateful for whatever you want to be grateful for whatever gift you received or whatever, you know, like do that. But if it's something you consider bad, right? Be like, you know what, spirit, this didn't go out as I planned. But I'm just so grateful for just going through the experience and experience the experience and just learning the lesson, you know? Like, now I can apply this lesson to my life. And then once when I truly learn this lesson through applying it physically through my life or spiritually and mentally, emotionally through my life, depending on what the message is, now I can teach the generation under me and break these generational curses. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, this is how we break the chains. It's like working on ourselves. It's working on ourselves is how we break the chain. So the benefits, of course, is like you'll love yourself more. You'll definitely love yourself more because it's like you're releasing it. You're letting it go. You're allowing more room into your heart chakra. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm working on. Like my heart chakra, like my heart chakra was like, boom, like a raw wave song for real. Like, boom, like actually like his whole catalog, like my heart chakra, like his whole catalog and Omari on Icebox on top of that, like and chipping away at it, chipping away at it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But as it's like, I'm clearing through these heart chakra blockages and journaling and like just boom, like just learning the lessons of like each individually and doing inner child healing on top of that. Like it's been allowing me to like just love and appreciate myself more. And then now it's like I'm learning different things and learning a whole new different side about myself, like spiritually that is just going to be real beneficial on my journey in all magnitudes of my life, like all areas of my life. Like I'm like only way is up with like these downloads I got being able to clear my heart chakra. And for you, those who don't understand what the download is, is like in just basic, simple terms, a download is just like a fire message just from spirit, like something just that's just laid upon you. And you're just like, and you're just so fixated on it. And it's like, you know what? I got to, dig into this or like you know what i should try this or i got to apply this or something it's like that's a message from spirit you know for real but boom that's what a download is and it's like whenever you're releasing like that and you love yourself more you're going to get message from spirit like this left and right just left and right like his spirit is like you know what they're listening and they got room you know what i mean and he's got a minivan but now he got a coup <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's just what it is. So it's like you create room for growth as well. Like, everybody wants to level up. Everybody wants to level up. And it's like different things I'm embarking on. It's like, I know, like, I'm going to apply this and, like, just absolutely just kill it and, like, 
the most humblest way possible. <laughs> like, if that even makes sense. Like, I'm going to kill it and be humble. You know what I mean? Like, that's just what it is. And it's because it's like you've got more room to add more stuff in them bags. If you still want to carry that bag or you want to be on your relaxation time, you got that. You know what I mean? Like, like if you want. But it's like, as you got more room to grow and just keep growing, you know what I mean? It's like, I got addicted to growth, you know? And it's like, now it's like I'm learning to apply that in all areas of my life. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, especially like, I need to get back into like exercising. You feel me? Like, I need to get back into it because yeah, like these toothpick days is about to be over facts. So it's like, I, boom, I created more room to be on some, you know what? I can improve my like sleep quality and start exercising more and start creating more room to grow and boom, boom, boom. And like all these amazing things is happening just from releasing and working out my traumas myself, you know? And it's like, that is just so beautiful. And it's like, um, for all of my like spiritual people, like, Yo, like, you're going to be able to grow your gifts more. You're going to be able to, like, just improve, like, tapping into, like, your light body more. And once you're able to connect to, like, your spirit and soul, like, on that deeper level, it's, like, it's just so, like, just beautiful and just so angelic. And it's, like, one of the most amazing things in the world. And it's, like, once when you're able to hold that frequency, like then it's a game over. It's game over because <laughs> it's like, I'm, just, I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all because it's like, you're on a whole different, you're on a whole different level of consciousness. You're on a whole different level of consciousness and you're moving different and you're thinking different and you're eating different and you're just, everything you're doing is just different before the better. And it's like, yeah, maybe you might be isolated for a little bit because you're making so many changes, but you're making the changes for you and you're growing like yourself. But this is like the benefits of not allowing somebody to define you because it's like when you allow somebody to put a title on you, like that's just not cool. It's just not cool because then you can start believing like you are that title or you start taking on that persona or like that fake projection on yourself. And then next minute you know, you become like that program you feel me and it's like nah we're trying to break these programs so it's like why take on a new program why fuck yourself up even more like there's no point there's no point so it's like we have to recognize these reasons and we have to recognize the benefits you know what i mean and you reap what you sow and just understand like you're going to go through stuff like we live and like it's playing a duality you feel me and it's like it's beautiful for real like it really is beautiful because it's like you get to like those real like lessons that we learn from this uh we consider bad those is like the ones we really had to go through like those is the ones that really stuck like those is the ones right there those is the ones that we're going to apply to our life the most like you cannot tell me that something that you went through that like was like really traumatic like stuck you like with you and the lesson was just so deep like the lesson was almost as deep as the wound you know and it's like as you get rid of that wound that lesson is still there it's still there you know and it's like sometimes we hold on to things because it's like, no, we we want to remember this. I have to remember exactly how I felt at this very moment. So I never feel like that again. No, like you're always going to remember how you felt. It's about on like you have to release the actual emotion you're getting off of that. Because, um, like, I feel like feelings come so fast and emotions stick with you. So it's like we're going to feel numerous feelings throughout the day. But, like, we're really trying to, like, change our emotion, you know. And it's, um, we're really trying to shift our emotion. Because it's like we shift our emotion to be, like, more happy. And 
we're raising our frequency just based off of that. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, yo, it's real simple, but it's also very, very hard. You know what I mean? And it's like, we have to do it because this is also how we break generational curses. And it's like, aren't you just tired of things just being the same? Aren't you just tired of carrying around the weight? Like, come on now. Like family, like we got this. We got this because it's like, this is something I'm still doing. And I'm going to continuously do it, you know? Like working on the shadow and healing and then not letting people define you. And then like this, making the own definition of yourself, finding your damn self. Like, sorry, that just got me really turned because it's like, you have to find yourself. You have to find yourself. You have to find your true authentic self. And it's like, whenever you're working on yourself, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen because it's like you love yourself. You create more growth. So remember that. <laughs> like, you're going to find your true, most authentic self. Like, the, like, the self that you really are, that you're always supposed to be, the one who knows his purpose, the one who knows, like, your soul mission. Like your sole purpose, you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, yeah, you got your natal chart, you know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, now you understand how these energies affect you. But then it's like, now you actually really understand, like, how you can, um, like, how you can, like, really apply them to you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, get into your natal chart and find out what energies affect you on, a, like, naturally. And then, boom like learn how to transmute that whenever like you're going to have them shifts where like the energy is going to be like let's say like aggressive and boom once you get used to transmuting that you're going to be able to transmute that all day because now you're going to understand like all right like i'm gonna might be a little bit you know what i mean today but this is what i'm gonna do to counteract that i might meditate a little bit more i might carry around the rose quartz you know what i'm saying I might carry around my black tourmaline, you know what I mean? Or I need to speak a little bit today, you know what I mean? It's throat chakra heavy. I might carry around my blue stones. I might carry around my blue kyanite, my appetite. I might carry around the uh, the ape angelite, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, it's all about, like, what you feeling? What you feeling? You know what I mean? Like, all of our journeys is specific to us so it's like don't ever let somebody defy you don't ever let somebody um don't ever let people just say what they want about you and you accept it and you take that on you know what i mean like deflect it take it with a grain of salt if it's something just real toxic like don't worry about it if it's something that you can gain info off of and apply it to yourself do that there's a reason for that. Um, so with all that being said, thank you, family, for joining me. Uh, I didn't plan for this video to be this long, but hey, like, it is what it is. Uh, thank you for staying for the whole video. I got more content on the way, more guided meditations on the way. Um, love y'all. Please drop a like, comment below, share it, please. And this gratitude, love, and appreciation. And y'all have a good day, good night, every time y'all watching this. Peace.